Hi guys, it's Dana and I thrift vintage and modern clothing that I sell online and in person. And today I'm going to share what I sold this past weekend, which was July <laughs> 6th and 7th and some sales from this Monday morning as well. So I sold six items on eBay for a gross total of $259. And on Poshmark, I sold five items for a gross total of $211. So that's a total of $470. Um, for 11 items and that means that I listed 14 and sold 11. So this weekend, Saturday, I listed four, Sunday I listed four, and Monday I will list six. So uh, let's see. And then I also ended up with a $43 AAP, which is average sales price. So um, looking at you know, this weekend, it looks as though um, the amount of items is down that I've sold. Like I got a higher profit margin for some of my items, um, but I just, I just need to sell more items. So in that case, it was kind of a slow weekend for me. However, I'm very happy with any sale that I make. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Okay, so I'm going to start with eBay and first item to go ahead and package up is this uh, vintage Michael Simon. <laughs> Michael Simon dress in this bright Kelly green color. And what's really fun about this dress is it has a whole bunch of these cows on the front. So it's pretty much a novelty um, item. It's, it has beading, it has tassels, the tails are tassels. Um, and also, I don't know, there's some other things going on as well. There's a little bit of sequins for eyes, um, really fun, fun piece. I'm just checking it over again. Um, yeah, so this item I picked up at the Goodwill bins, and my bins charges $1.99 per pound. Well, let me think. I think what I'll do is I'll fold it in half. It's going out in a poly mail bag, a 12 by 10 poly mail bag, so I'm just um, trying to figure out like how small to fold it up to and this dress I think this dress weighs um, like a pound so about two dollars um, <coughs> and actually a friend of mine um, Annie at the bins she decided that she didn't want this and she was like oh did you want to you know did you want this um dress and i'm like oh um yeah you know i'll i'll, I'll take it <laughs> and i actually put it in my bag and i forgot that it was in my bag and i just went up and paid for my items and so you know i purchased it and so when i got home and i checked the comps on this because you know i'm not familiar with this brand um it was a really good brand so Anyways, Annie, if you're out there, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for handing me this item. Um, let's see. So this is these stickers. Um, oh, wow. I am running really low. I thought I ordered these. Wow. I need to double check. I'm not sure. I need more of these labels to make my thank you stickers. So, uh. I like to run off um, my thank you stickers on my label writer, my Dymo label, label writer. And that way I can kind of um, do a little branding. 
as well as you know have a have to say thank you to the the customer okay there we go so yeah i i actually really enjoy um selling vintage sometimes it takes a little bit more work because you know to research it um it might not be quite so easy to find and also sometimes you know there are um flaws so then it takes a little extra time um disclosing those flaws okay i'm going to read you the title it's vintage michael simon dress women m which stands for medium kelly green knit shift cows art to wear y2k is the title and this dress sold for $50 and it sold like that. It sold very fast. I would, I think it sold the same day. Um, uh, shoots. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, this dress sold the same day. So, um, you know, and it also sold to an international buyer. I didn't, I couldn't find the, the country that it's going to. Um, all I have is the, um, the United States, um, address where it's shipped to. And then from there it's shipped over to, you know, the actual buyer. But anyways, Melanie, thank you so much for your purchase. And I don't know if Melanie watches, I don't know if anyone has you know what who purchased the items watches but i'm just gonna say thank you to the people um on on the label yeah because <laughs> otherwise it feels a little weird okay so next item is a pair of shorts these are very interesting shorts. Um, I'm, I'm kind of blanking on where I picked these up from. Okay, so they're either from the bins or they're from the Goodwill store. So if they're from the bins, they weigh about a pound, maybe, maybe a little bit more than a pound actually. They're they're pretty substantial. And it, so if that's a pound, then it's about $2, maybe even like $2.50. That's gonna go in there, okay. And then if it's from Goodwill store, it's I think it's about $7. Um, I think, yeah. And then it could be a little bit off if it was senior discount day, which I'm pretty sure it would be because that's the only time I'm going right now is on senior discount day. So perhaps it came up to about $6. And I will just put the sticker on and I can read you the title. Really interesting um, shorts. They have a lot of interesting details with the straps and pockets, asymmetrical pockets. Also, it has sort of like that drop waist, um, which makes it look more baggy, almost like street style. And so um, the title is Tom Cron or Tom Crom Shorts Men XL black cotton adjustable streetwear grunge baggy unique is a title and it sold for sixty dollars um and it took about a month and a half to sell so this is a great sale for me uh sixty dollars for a pair of shorts is is amazing it's great and um a month and a half is pretty fast so i would if i saw these out in the wild again i would pick them up or at least 
try to remember that brand, which is Tom Cron. <laughs> so. And then um, this weighs a little bit more than a pound. Also, it's going to somebody who's out in Chicago. Um, thank you, Ian. And because of that, Purchasing a padded flat rate um, was cheaper than going the ground advantage way. So that's what happened with this shipping method. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next is a really pretty top. I found this one at the bins and it's a Stalin Company or Stalin Co really pretty. I actually was considering keeping it for myself, but then um, it was too pretty and in too good of condition for me to keep. So, um, you know, I went ahead and, and listed it and happy that it sold. Let's see, how's the best way? I'm going to fold it this way. Has eyelet detail on the bottom as well as pleats uh, all along the front. And along with some buttons and a flared sleeve, I believe. Yeah, a really pretty flared sleeve. Again, some more eyelet detail right here uh, near the bottom of the sleeve. And a very nice condition, especially for something that's white. And that's kind of hard to come by when, you know, you find something at the bins. Okay. This one actually got a lot of attention, you know, a lot of watchers, likers on both platforms. I think it actually, mm, I think it did better on eBay as far as um you know watchers the amount of watchers and things as opposed to the amount of likers on poshmark um i don't know how, how much it sold for because i don't remember so i don't know if it was a what kind of sale it was if it's good great or bad so I'm curious, let's look it up. Um, Style & Co, blouse, women, XL, white, 100% cotton, eyelet, tunic, cottagecore prairie is the title, and it sold for $20. It took, hmm, it took three months. So three months for $20, is not the best sale. So maybe it would have been okay. Well, if I find another one of these, I would keep it for myself. <laughs> I guess we could put it that way. I might be able to try selling it at the Buy Sell Trade store as well because I think the style of it was um, nice enough. Um, you know, it, since it was cottage core style, prairie style, um, I mean, yeah, it's even like coquette because it's very feminine, um, very summery. So yeah, it could have done, it, it could have done okay at, um, at the buy sell trades. So all right, next. Okay. So how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are having a great summer so far. Um, yeah, it's feeling like summer around here. It's been really warm, uh, very sunny. Uh, let's see, and I, I wanna say like in the 70s, some days it was 80s to 90s. Um, in my area, um, I'm closer to, to the, the bay, 
so if there's more of a breeze um, but inland it gets pretty hot up into the hundreds so <laughs> it gets pretty darn warm around here or not around here but up there uh, so next is a Nike shorts they're in sort of that sweatshirt material has this really nice um, big logo on one of the legs and uh, I picked this up at the bins. I just noticed that it was in really excellent condition, like like almost new condition. So, you know, when I see something that looks this good, I I tend to pick it up. Um, I am getting a little bit more brave about picking up Nike. And this is modern Nike, you know. Um, so I knew that it wasn't going to, bring a lot of money but what i thought was that it might sell fast so that's the reason why i picked it up and it it basically sold in minutes i posted it and then i turned around and it was sold so this is i don't know if it's just a crazy coincidence or if i priced this thing way too low um because actually to tell you the truth i didn't even look up comps on this one <laughs> I just assumed uh, I'm gonna, I think I listed at $24. And that's kind of like when I think something um, might not sell, you know, for much, I will kind of start it off at 24. That's kind of, I don't know, what I have been doing. And then that way I know when and a discount is offered, which is usually 20%. I think that comes out to about $18. So I think, I don't, <laughs> we'll look it up, but I think it might have sold for 18 in minutes, you know, so. So this one, um, got it at the bins. It's fairly lightweight. Um, I would say it's about maybe a dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five. And I actually, um, these prices I'm giving you are kind of more, kind of like a frame of reference, I guess. Uh, because I actually, what I do is I add everything up and I go off of a uh, average. So my average cost of goods is a dollar. I think it's like down to a dollar 88 or so. So that's kind of the way I've that's the way that I figure out my, uh, my cost of goods. Okay. So now we have a really nice hoodie. It's a nice Adidas hoodie um, in white. Got it from the bins. So it's kind of a miracle that it's clean. I think I think I did some pretty strong washing and stain treating on this. Um, I, I picked up I want to say I picked up about four light colored hoodies and so you know from the bins and so they're all in various different sort of <laughs> um, conditions some of them were very very stained and I basically soaked them for like a day in uh, oxyclean and this one I didn't have to soak but I think I just spot treated Okay, and this is gonna go into a bigger, yeah, cause I can see that, I remember this one was, this one was pretty dirty and uh, I did some spot treating on the sleeves especially and um, you know, it did pretty well. Okay. Adidas is one of my favorite brands personally. I have to be careful about 
you know, having that attachment to, <laughs> to brands or to items because, you know, oh no, Ariel, no, no, honey. Okay, Ariel woke up and she's ready. She's ready for her snack, right? All right, how you doing, Ariel? It's a good kitty. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. All right, Sven, did you want a snack too? What do you think, yeah? Okay. Here you go. All right. So, yes, the animals have been bribed. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll give you the title in a second. I think this will work. Okay. So, title is Adidas Hoodie Men XXL White Black Pullover Sweatshirt Fleece Logo Spell Out Sport. And this sold for $15 and it took about two days to sell. So um, I probably could have held out longer and, you know, tried to get more for it. But I'm always kind of motivated to sell things. Um, I probably list, I. I didn't list this one very high. I mean, the highest I would have listed this one is probably 28. Um, modern Adidas is very saturated, so there's a lot of it in the reselling market. And so I don't expect it to bring me a lot of money, but you know, if it's a popular item, um, it can sell fast. So while um, it's saturated, it also means that there's a lot of buyers out there um, who do buy Adidas, Nike, those kinds of, you know, um, brands, those big brands. So if you can get the right items, you know, it could sell fast. So would I pick this up again? You know, I kind of, I kind of feel like I might pick this one up again. Um, it's nice because this is kind of like an all season thing. Sunny, do you want to come sit back up here? Or you know what you can. Sunny. Sunny, do you want to come over here? Come. Come here. Sunny, come. Want to come here? Want to come here? You want to come here? No? Or you want to come up here? So, um, this weekend, we realized that Sven is actually, I think we've been saying that he's six for a very long time, and he's actually nine. So, Sven, um, I'm so sorry that I forgot how old you were. Um, but yeah, we, we adopted him in 2015, is that right? Yeah. So he's nine. He's, he's, a, he's our little old man. But he's really a good doggy. So, all right. So this one is going out ground advantage as well. Even though it's over a pound, 
um, it ended up being the best price. So I like that. Okay. And you know, because I know I'm choosing ground advantage for a lot of um, my items, I'm able to um, charge the customer less for shipping. Um, you know, every little bit helps as far as, you know, making my items um, more enticing for a buyer. So. Okay. And then we have, okay, we have one more. You okay, buddy? <laughs> he gets food stuck back here sometimes and he has to like work it out of there all right so um let me think so that did i say that that weighs over a pound um probably about two two twenty five two fifty um got that from the bins and uh i think i read you yeah so we're good with that one. Oh, and then that one went to someone in Connecticut. So thank you, Boris. All right, so next we have a interesting collab um, champion um, with Todd Snyder. And it is a really nice uh, sweatshirt pullover very thick and plush. Uh, what's kind of unique about it is it has a front pocket and a little patch on the sleeve right here. And this um, sort of earthy um, olive green, army green. And this one I traded up at the buy sell trade store and it's a lot harder for me to figure out exactly the price. But when I get things at the buy, sell, trade store, it's basically I'm taking items that I get at the bins, trendy items that I get at the bins, and I'm selling it there, and I'm choosing to get trade back. And when I get the trade back, it's because I sold so many items um, there. And so I would say, you know, the amount of items that I sold was about $5 worth. So, yeah. All right. Ariel, don't go in the bag, okay? No, don't go in the bag. Oh, what a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. Stan, you're still doing that. <laughs> oh, man. And I am totally running out of my stickers here, which is not good. Okay. Let's see, Ariel, my cat. How old is she? Ariel is 15 years old, so these two are seniors just like me. <laughs> seniors, but they seem to be doing well. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, title is Champion Todd Snyder Sweatshirt Men L Brown Terry Fleece Cotton Pocket Casual is the title. And um, Ariel, no, no. Oh, okay. She's just leaning on it. Um, it sold in a day. Another one that was a very fast uh, flip. Um, and it sold for $36. So, you know, to me, that's a great sale. 
I'm happy with that. And again, you know, maybe I could have held out longer. I probably, I think I priced this probably at about $48 and um, accepted the offer of 36, I believe. recently came across Todd Snyder. This is the second Todd Snyder item that I've, I've sold in the last month, I think. So I definitely am keeping my eye out for Todd Snyder. It seems to be a really good brand. Um, sold Both items sold fast and for a good profit. I'm curious about the brand so I'll look up um, the website and just kind of read the about section just because I'm I don't know I kind of just want to get an idea of you know and then the the basic aesthetic of of the brand and um, you know who uh, the brand what the demographic might be you know like ooh, who is its customer so uh, okay oh so actually, yeah, so <laughs> that was the last eBay. And so I thought if I could, I'd go ahead and just do a quick shout outs to people who left me comments in the last sold to ship. And also um, for those of you who, you know, um, rather skip this part, you can always skip ahead and I'll be doing Poshmark sales um, right after this. So. Let me see. Oh, I I received a lot of comments um, on this. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm seeing this correctly. Yes, which is great. I love getting comments and I love reading them. Um, it's to me. It lets me know that you guys are out there, you know, and I um, love hearing your thoughts and opinions, you know, what's selling for you. Um, you know, it, it all it all is super, super helpful. So, you know, thank you, everyone. And um, Thea, thank you for your comment. Uh, oh. OK, I'm glad you like the office tour. I really wasn't sure, you know, <laughs> about it um but i'm glad that that you enjoyed it and i guess it is kind of nice i mean i love i actually love seeing inside people's homes or whatnot their businesses it's nice to see how things are organized um you know what their aesthetic is or what the the design of their home is so it's always interesting to me so anyways yes thea thank you so much for your comment i really appreciate you Oh, hi, Ashana. Thank you for your comment. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, Ashana. Um, so I did reply back and the paper size that I use is 27 by 17 inch. And I order it off of um, Amazon and I have a link below um, in my description. Um, I used to use the Home Depot, uh, just a regular old packing paper, which is, um, bigger. It's more of a square shape, um, which is really good too. And, but it was more expensive because I can get more paper. I get more for less money on this from Amazon. So anyways, oh, <laughs> Well, good luck with moving. Yes, and definitely the packing paper will help with that with that too. All right. Anyways, thank you for your comment. I appreciate you. Hello, Rusty Rose. Thanks for your comment. Oh, okay. So you've tried a mixture of baking soda and vinegar for stains. You let it sit for a while, even overnight. Yes. Um, 
this sometimes will get the stains out the best. This also works well is a uh, grandma's secret spot remover laundry spray. Okay. Yes. Um, Oh, you let it sit for overnight. Okay. Oh, yes. I heard about that one. Grandma's secret spot remover. Um, and I heard it was really great. So yes, thank you so much for your recommendations. Um, I, Sort of my method of stain treating is um, I always start off with the Oxy sprays. Oxy is that called OxyClean or yeah, OxyClean spray. Um, and then I also will put some Dawn dish soap on it in case it's like a greasy food stain. And then um, if that doesn't work, I then I move over to the. Um, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. It's like a paste and I'll put that on with a toothbrush and scrub it in and let it sit for, you know, out a few hours. Um, and then if it's all over, it's dirty, I'll just take OxyClean detergent and then I'll soak it in a big bucket of warm water. And that one I sometimes I'll leave overnight and and then if something's really still stained then i'll even um put um bleach i'll put some bleach in there and then that usually is the final that's the last straw you know <laughs> then if that all doesn't work then it's just it's just the way it's gonna be <laughs> anyways rusty rose thank you for letting us know you know how you stain treat things i think it's really interesting and um, you know, grandma's secret spot remover sounds like something that I could investigate too. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hi, Charlotte. Thanks for your comment. Oh, oh yes. Um, so yeah, I, I wash my items and I also, some of my items instead of washing, I will steam them. And I am getting leaning more towards the steam steaming more items now because I heard that other people do a lot of the steaming method as opposed to the washing method. And so when I looked it up on, you know, when I Googled it, um, it said that it is actually very sanitizing. So um, that that was good information for me. So definitely for anything that's dry cleanable you know, I'm opting for that method. Um, but otherwise, if it's easy to just throw into the wash, I'll, I'll do it that way. And um, what I notice is oftentimes after I wash something, even though it doesn't seem really dirty, it just kind of seems like it freshens it up. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just a psychological thing, but you know, and then the laundry detergent I use is unscented. And for the longest time, I always used scented laundry detergent and, you know, from, especially for personal reasons and stuff like for personal wash. Um, but then I just decided to, you know, like there's a lot of people who are very sensitive to scents and smells. So I switched and um, I'm actually, now I, I prefer to wash my own clothes in the unscented um, detergent. So I, and then when I smell like the, the scented ones, it feels, it smells too sweet or something for me. So anyways, you know, it's funny how, how that changed for me. And, um, and I also use those laundry sheets, those little sheets. Um, and I actually kind of love it because I noticed that it cleans um, the clothes well and um, it's just so compact and small, you know, I, I really like that. So I'm going to let Ariel, hey Ariel, do you want to go in here? Yeah, okay, good girl, you can go. So anyways, <laughs> that's a, a long story here yeah, there. Um, but anyways, uh, Charlotte, I hope that's helpful to, to know. I, I hear resellers do all different ways and, you know, um, but then that's just what I do. 
So anyways, hope you're doing well and thank you so much for your comment. I appreciate you. Oh, Minkas, hello. Thank you so much for watching and, you know, leaving me your comment. I really, really appreciate you. Hi, Shelby. Thanks for your comment. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you have a six month old baby. Oh, yes. I, I really have to hand it to you that you're able to um, do reselling, you know, with a six month old baby. So I think you probably have really great organizational skills. <laughs> and um, yeah, and it's like, uh, when baby goes down for nap time, that's when things get done, right? So yes. Oh, okay. So you're wondering how much time I spend sourcing each week. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, I, it was so funny that you asked that question because I never really thought about it, you know, as far as hours. I was only thinking about days and I was realizing that I was having, I was um, sourcing four days a week, which feels like a really, it feels like a really good amount for me. Um, but then when you said, oh, you know, as far as hours, uh, I had to kind of add that up. And the way I look at it is a kind of, it's usually about two to three hours each day that I go out. Um, and it depends <clears throat> on if I also go to the flea market and it'll just be a longer day, but really it's about two to three hours. So um, I'm gonna say three hours, so that's uh, 12 hours a week. So anyways, hope that's helpful. I don't know, is how many hours do you guys source a week? I'd love to hear. I, I don't know if that's a lot or a little, <laughs> but there was a time where I was sourcing almost every day. And I think um, sourcing that much was kind of stressing me out. And I just noticed that even if I only go out for two hours a day, it's breaking up my day and it just made it harder for me to, to do the photo and listing part of things. And because of that, I just always felt like, um, I don't know, like I was behind schedule. So, you know, the fact now that if I have three days of non sourcing days, and by the way, I'm hoping that um, it's not too bad, but next door neighbors are having their, um, their deck, um, made. And so there's a lot of sawing going on over there. So, uh, I'm really sorry if it's, if it's noisy and, um, you know, I did order some like really good mic microphones, but they haven't come yet. So I'm hoping, you know, next by next week I can have a good noise counseling microphone so um i'm fingers crossed that these will work out good uh yeah so anyways yeah so if you can let me know how much time you spend um sourcing that would be awesome so shelby thank you so much i really appreciate you watching and i love your comment thanks so much oh hey christine thanks for your comment oh my gosh <laughs> Yes, thank you. Um, I'm in a reseller greatness mentor group with Christine, so I get to see her some mornings in the morning call with tech. Anyways, Christine, I hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for your awesome comment. I really appreciate you. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for your comment, and I'm sorry, I, I must have wrote out the comment but forgot to push the send button and so then it never totally went through and then when i was going through them the comments again i noticed that there was no reply so i'm really sorry about that but i did reply to you it's just a little late <laughs> um oh yes oh yeah, right the october the the what are they called oh i'm blinking um, Lederhausen, the Lederhausen shorts. Yes. 
So I love what you wrote. You said that I believe that's one thing, one of the things I love most about selling that we have an opportunity to find amazing things, sometimes things that make us second guess ourselves because they are items that make you go, huh? But <laughs> those great pieces, those are great pieces and worth giving them a second chance. Yes. I loved reading that. Thank you, Brenda. That's so true. Um, yeah, like I said, I was just like really on the fence about picking up the lag and, <laughs> lag and look, leader house and not lag and look. Um, and it ended up, you know, selling super fast for, um, you know, a good profit. So yeah, I don't know, maybe in some sense, you know, it's okay to question yourself, you know, like, oh, does this fit my business model? Um, oh, you know, maybe I should check comps, you know, things like that totally makes sense. Um, but otherwise, maybe it's okay to go outside of what you're normally doing, especially if it gives you a good profit and sells fast. <laughs> Anyways, Brenda, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. Oh, hey, Tech. Thanks for your comment. Ah. <laughs> 14 up and 14 out. Even the cat came to help with the shipping. <laughs> yes, that's so funny. She did help me. And, you know, it's so funny. Is I When I thought about it, I, I think that's why it's... It is helpful for me to do these sh weekly ship with me. It's just to kind of get a, a pulse on my business to see where I'm at. See if, you know... Um, if um, I'm making good sales, if I'm picking up good items, you know, things like that. So, um, and I was just feeling, I don't know, I guess every weekend I feel like, oh, I don't know, I, I don't, maybe I'm not having good sales or whatever, but you know, 14 uh, listed and 14 sold is, is pretty solid. So <laughs> thank you for mentioning that. And um, for those of, who, those of you who don't know Tech and Sports, has a YouTube channel and I'll, I always link his channel below. Um, I'm also part of his reseller greatness mentoring group and I really, really love it. So thanks tech. I really appreciate you. Oh, hello, Don. Thank you for your comment. Oh, <laughs> so Don, you found Lederhausen. Okay. At your local Goodwill. Wow. So you sold them in time for Oktoberfest for $75. Yeah, snaps to you. That's a great sale. <laughs> yes. So I'm assuming that you would pick those up again, right? If you came across them. Yeah, I think, yeah, I would pick them up again too. <laughs> Thank you so much for your awesome comment. I really appreciate you. Hi, Mallory. Thanks for your comment. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, you're in text group too. Awesome, awesome, yes. I'm gonna have to look for you. Do you do the morning calls or other calls? Um, yes. I, I am learning a lot in the Reseller Greatness group. I learn a lot and I'm also motivated daily by going into those zoom calls and there's some times where I can't make make the calls you know um but there's always the replay that you know so you can always listen to the calls too um but I definitely um appreciate all the calls and there's you know all, all different kinds of calls that um specialize in different niches so it's really super Super, super great group. And Mallory, I'm assuming you sell clothes, right? <laughs> what do you like? Do you like to sell on uh, Poshmark or eBay or both? Yes. Anyways, Mallory, thank you so much for your awesome, awesome comment. I really appreciate you. Hi, Serena. Thanks for your comment. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thanks for finding the channel. I really appreciate you finding 
finding me. <laughs> oh, and thank you for subscribing. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Um, I'm so glad that you liked um, seeing the, the office tour and, you know, that it was interesting or um, helpful for you. Um, so, yeah, I actually liked adding it to the sold and ship. So I thought maybe that's, you know, a way I can kind of, um, I don't know, add a little something to um, these sold sold to ships or uh, ship with me's, um, you know, other than just you know the packaging so anyways awesome serena thank you so much for subscribing and leaving me this awesome comment i really really appreciate you hi deborah thanks for your comment oh you're welcome yeah yeah so um i left um Deborah, the link to where my daughter bought the um, caddy and it was off of Amazon and it's a makeup, it's a makeup caddy. So um, they probably have different styles and sizes and stuff. Um, but um, I would never have thought to purchase a makeup caddy for shipping supplies. So, you know, and it was, you know, it was my daughter. She, she didn't want her makeup caddy anymore. So she brought it downstairs and then she just grabbed all my shipping supplies and just <laughs> put it together. And she said, mom, try this. So yeah, I like it actually, you know, it just um, organizes everything. Um, I know where everything is. And also because it's stackable, I'm able to put more things into it. So, um, so yeah, anyways, thank you so much, Deborah. I really um, appreciate you letting me know that you got the link. Hi, Annette. Thanks for your comment. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked the tour. So you have a hybrid system for your inventory. Yes. Mine is kind of hybrid too. I think we're on the same wavelength. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I like that yeah, I think our, our systems are probably very similar, our inventory. So you use bins and then you also have certain categories, but you have a big category. Um, and then you also are in chronological order. So yeah, me too. Um, okay. Oh, and then I think the other thing that you do is like I use the um, clothes pins, but I think you said you use index cards. Am I, am I tripping? <laughs> or maybe, I don't see that here, sorry. Well, I'm also wearing my contact lenses and that means that um, it's hard for me to read up close because my glasses are more like, um, what do you call it? They're kind of like bifocals. So I am having a harder time reading the, the computer. Anyway, oh yes, thank you. I love my, I love my furry coworkers too. <laughs> oh, Annette, thanks so much for your comment. I really appreciate you. I, you know, I love hearing how you do your inventory system. I think it's really nice too when you put in the comments because other people who come in and take a look at the comments they can see how you do it as well too and I think it's I think it's helpful so thanks so much oh okay so I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right is it Magali 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 thank you so much for your comment I I just I just see it so I'm going to go ahead and heart it and like it um but yes thank you so much for your comment Oh, you have another one here. Oh. oh, I'm glad that you like the way I describe the items. Um, that's really great to know because sometimes like when I'm shipping things, sometimes I don't even know what's kind of coming out of my mouth. And I hope that it makes sense to you guys, you know, because I'm just kind of just doing this and I've, been doing sold to ships for oh, definitely over a year. 
yeah, definitely over a year. So, you know, it's, it's become more and more comfortable for me. Um, and also, you know, the more comments and, and the more likes and views that I get, the more I know that people are out there and that I'm actually talking to humans, <laughs> not just my iPhone, which is, you know, another thing, but yeah. Yes. So Magali, thank you so much for your comments. I really, really appreciate you. And I will say hi later in the comments. Oh, hi, Teresa. Thank you for your comment. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad to hear. Yeah, I like, I mean, I like all kind. Uh, um, I love YouTube. I'm, I just think YouTube is the best thing. I, I hardly ever watch TV anymore. Um, basically, I just watch a lot of YouTube content, not only reselling, but other things as well. And I think that's what I love. I love that it's just real people, you know, and they're sharing their experiences or they're sharing their knowledge in something. I find it just really fascinating and entertaining. So, um, and I can learn a lot, you know, but um, I, I do tend to gravitate towards um, YouTubers that have sort of a more calming voice. And, um, and sometimes the, the more, um, I don't know, the less calming voices are harder for me to, you know, just work with or whatever. So, um, anyways, I kind of, that's how I feel. So I'm glad to hear that you, you find my voice calming. Anyways, Teresa, thank you so much for your awesome, awesome comment. I really love reading it. So I really appreciate you. Oh, hey, Sharon. Thanks for your comment. I'm sorry. I just noticed that it's here and I'm going to go ahead and like it and then I'll reply back in, in, in the comments later. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm going to hang on to that shirt for a little longer. Um, the, uh, Sanrio Hello Kitty-ish, um, shirt. Um, what I, I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. But I also kind of liked that it was uh, the rugby style and I've never really, I don't think I've ever had a rugby shirt before. So anyways, something a little different, right? And then, I don't know, I just love that whole kawaii aesthetic. So anyways, yes, Sharon, I hope you're doing well. Um, love when you come in and leave me comments. I just, you know, I always love seeing them. So thanks so much. I really appreciate you. Oh, Stacia. Hi, Stacia. It's my buddy. How you doing? I'm going to just, I'm liking and hearting your comment. <laughs> oh, so you're obsessed with Ariel, the cat. Yes, she's an awesome cat. Um, like I said, she is 15 years old. So she's a senior citizen and um, she's very quirky. Um, I... I've had her for a really long time. And then when we got her, it was because my youngest daughter, she was four years old and she really wanted a pet. And at the time I was renting a place, the only pet they would allow was a cat or, you know, maybe like a hamster or something like that. But <clears throat> so there was, and I'm, I, I wasn't a cat person. I was like, oh no, I like dogs. I'm a dog person. I, you know, and I was kind of like telling Emmy, it's like, well, we can't have a dog, so no pets. And then she's like, how about a cat? And then the landlord said, yeah, cats are okay. And I'm like, Ugh. so we went to um, Tony LaRusso's um, animal shelter. Tony LaRusso was the former manager of the Oakland A's, and he's a big time animal lover. Um, so he has a really, really nice animal shelter. And so we went out there and we found Ariel. Ariel was the cutest kitten, but she was kind of rambunctious. And, um, you know, I was telling Emmy, I was like, why don't, 
do you want that shy one over in the corner just you know like chilling over there and she's like no i want this one i want ariel and so i'm like oh okay and she's just like you know playing with us and biting us and you know just kind of i don't know just being really um outgoing i guess and so we we took her home and unfortunately i feel like for a lot of the years i had a really tough time with various different things um you know and we kept ariel you know as much as we could but there was times where i had to move many different times and some of the times i couldn't bring her along but luckily i was able to give her to my oldest daughter and she kept her for a while until I moved to another place. So anyways, long story short, I feel very responsible for Ariel in her senior years to just give her more love and affection and attention because I do feel like I couldn't give it to her very much in her younger years. And, you know, I, I have that, that guilt feeling about that, but so I'm really enjoying her. And she's also calmed down a lot more. She used to be so rambunctious. It, and I wasn't used to a cat, you know, so this cat play, I'm like, ah, I don't, I'm not used to, it's not like she listens. It's not like she, I can say sit and she sits. No, that's not her. So, you know, had to learn a lot about cats and she's a lot more mellow now. So um, I find her really, you know, enjoyable and loving so anyways long story <laughs> sorry to go on about ariel but yeah the, the you know our pets are really special aren't they so anyways stacia i'm so happy that you like my cat <laughs> and i will see you hopefully i'll see you tomorrow in our um our group uh, zoom meeting all right anyways thanks stacia hope you're doing well and i'll talk to you soon Okay, everybody, thank you so much for all these awesome comments. I know that was long, but I just wanted to get a little bit of chance to talk to you guys and, um, you know, just show my appreciation for, you know, you guys taking the time out to, you know, send me a comment. And, you know, even if, if it's just like a hey you know, <laughs> or emoji, I appreciate that. And I also appreciate anybody who views, watches the videos and also hits the like button. So, you know, thank you all. I really appreciate all the support. Okay, so now finally, we'll get into um, Poshmark sales. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, let's do it. Um, here we go. Wow, which one we'll start with. All right, we'll start with this one. And this is a really beautiful midi skirt in just a gorgeous print. It's a gorgeous floral print. Uh, the brand is Cezanne. And it is uh, the print and the style of this skirt to me make it more cottage core style. It could also kind of fall into the prairie style as well or the prairie aesthetic. Um, it has this really high, um, what do you call this, split in the front, which I think adds a little pizzazz to something that would be very sort of more modest. So it gives you a little hint of leg and um, just a really, really pretty um, floral print. Okay, so where did I get this? I got this. I traded up for this um, at the buy sell trade so I sold a bunch of um, bins trendy items and got 50% trade so I was able to pick this up as well as other items and that is one of my favorite ways to source now it is an extra step an extra layer to acquiring my inventory but um because i can't find really super great items at the bins all the time 
it's one way that I can get like, I don't know, I guess more profitable items. And so it's a method that I, I like. Um, okay, so this one, okay, wait. Just clean up a little bit here, get the new stickers out. Ugh, I gotta, I gotta check on my orders here. My stickers, my my new microphone, where are they? And then, you know, I, I have to watch out for um, porch pirates too because, you know, I live in a very urban area and um, that kind of uh, porch theft is very common around here. So I'm always a little nervous about that. Okay. <clears throat> So I will give you the title. Um, here we are. Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, so title is Saison Skirt Women 40 slash US 8 Multicolor Floral Midi Tier Peasant Cottage Core Boho is the title. And it's sold for $75. And it took about three days to sell. So this was a very fast sale. And it was a great sale because it was a high profit margin item. So super happy with this. Um, and All right. Next is... Um, I never heard of this brand before, uh, Rachel Pally, P-A-L-L-Y. I picked this up mainly because I like, I feel like this style is pretty trendy. It's, um, this, I don't know, like a onesie or, um, an oversized relaxed fit wide leg jumpsuit very very comfy this um, particular one is in a knitted like gauze material has buttons down the front um to me it's it's very sort of um lagging look coastal beachy in its style and you know the relaxed fit this wide bottom wide leg baggy is um kind of trendy right now so you know when i see this um I will pick it up and um, I got this at the bins uh, so you know definitely didn't want to pass on it it does have belt loops so that tells me that the the belt or the sash or whatever is missing um, and I just had to disclose that in the comments I just see a couple of pill balls and otherwise it looks pretty clean Okay, I see a loose thread. Okay. Let's do that. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Maybe like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so let me look at the the title. Boop. No way. Okay, title is Rachel Pally Jumpsuit Women Large Black Cotton Gauze Baggy Oversized Lag and Look is a title. And it sold for $39. It took about one month to sell. So this is a fast sale. $39 is a good profit for me. I'm always kind of striving for, you know, over $20 profit, you know, after you take away um, platform free, platform fees and my cost of goods. So this is giving me over $20 profit, probably close to, I guess it's close to $30 profit, which is great.
Okay. This particular um, jumpsuit had a longer um, leg. It was, you know, I, I had been seeing a lot of the crop style um, jumpsuits and I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like the trend is going more towards longer length. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, if that's true or not. Uh, wondering how trendy crop style is right now and moving into the future. Okay. So if crop style isn't trending right now, it, it will trend later in the future, definitely, because it all cycles back, you know? All right, so here we go with a cashmere sweater which I love selling a sweater in the summer and this one is a very pretty um, I don't know what color do you call this like seafoam, seafoam green really pretty green kind of that bluish green and or almost like an aquamarine color the title is um, not title the brand is Cullen cashmere let me go ahead and find the title. Cullen sweater, women, medium, blue, 100% cashmere, ribbed, v-neck, classic, soft is the title. And it sold for $21. And um, it, it took a long time. It took, it took six and a half months to sell. So that's that's okay for me because I just want to keep having cashmere in my store and closet all year round and it tends to only sell for like like 20 25 dollars I I tend I mean I, I've heard other people mention that their cashmere sells you know really for a good profit which is awesome for whatever reason most of my cashmere doesn't sell for too much but i just like that it does sell and i pick up most i pick up all my cashmere at the bin so you know my cost of goods i mean ca cashmere sweaters are like the lightest sweater so it's like you know i don't know 50 cents sometimes right so i just pick them up all, all year round. And then also uh, the buy sell trade stores will buy cashmere sweaters as well, but I have to wait for the season. And that's the only thing about um, if you decide to sell at the, your buy sell trade, I'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna be picky about what season the items are, are in. Very pretty um, color, it had that nice ribbed detail, just a classic cashmere sweater, lightweight. It's actually great for all year round because of its, its weight, the fact that it's very lightweight, the fact that it's a natural material, um, so it's breathable is another huge plus. Um, and you know, it's soft, so. So many great things about cashmere and I just I just keep picking it up the trick all, always with it is you know to to check the holes so all right So I think 
Yeah, so that cashmere sweater probably weighed about 50 cents, 70, 75 cents worth. Oh wait, does that make sense? No. <laughs> I probably paid about 50 to 75 cents for that, that sweater because of the weight. It's very lightweight. All right, and next is a ace and jig dress. And it's just a very sort of, um, I don't know, a relaxed fit, kind of a, a boxy, I don't know if it's really not quite a baby doll um, style, but I would say that it's, it has sort of like lag and look vibes to it. So just checking it real quick. I picked this up at the buy sell trade store. I traded up for it. I was excited to see Ace and Jig. Thought that this would be a no brainer and it would sell quickly, but it, I think it sat for a while. So it's either that Ace and Jig is not as popular as it used to be, or the style is not as popular as it used to be. And you know, or it could be both. So as far as, you know, um, paying up for it, I'm going to be a lot more cautious about, you know, this, um, either the style or the brand, <clears throat> if that makes sense. Hopefully. Yeah. It should, should, should make sense. I think. Okay. Do that. The material feels wonderful. It feels very, very soft, cozy. Style is more relaxed. And this would, I think it's kind of a year round um, dress. It could be worn year round. And during the colder months, Perhaps with some tights and boots. It would be nice and a chunky sweater right on top. Or a cardigan. That would be really cute. Okay. Let me just go ahead and do everything and then give you the title. Ace and Jig Dress Women Medium Beige Striped Baby Doll Relaxed Fit Knee Length Boho is the title. And it sold for $38. And it took about two, two months to sell. So actually, two months is pretty pretty good it's pretty fast and also $38 is um a, is a is a good sale for me I I just thought that it would sell for more but um $38 is is good so yeah so so not <laughs> not bad oh and I've been forgetting to say where the items are from oh that's so funny. So, um, Deidre, you're from Berkeley. So we are neighbors. Thank you so much. That's funny. I could have walked it over. <laughs> I always love to see where, where they're, what city or, you know, state our buyers are from. Okay, so this one is a Reformation dress. And I don't know if I can show it to you really well, but yeah, so it is very super low cut. Um, it's a midi dress and the brand is Reformation. It is a Jersey knit fit and flare with pockets, I think. Yeah, very, very low cut. 
um, I suppose somebody could actually wear, um, you know, a shirt underneath. I think that would probably <laughs> be a wise decision. I think I saw a um, stock photo of this dress and noticed that, you know, the model wasn't wearing anything underneath. So it was a lot more um, risque. But anyways, this is... Um, a really nice dress and I picked this up at the buy sell trade store so I traded up for this one I wanted to go ahead and um, they had quite a few reformation dresses at um, the buy sell trade so I wanted to try one and see how it would do I tend to not do really well with reformation I, I don't know what it is Reformation and even like, um, what is that other one? Oh, I'm totally blanking on uh, Aritzia. I don't do very well with Aritzia anymore either. So I don't know what it is. But, um, but yeah, so this one actually, let me see what it sold for. I'll give you that. Um, Reformation dress, women, small, black, plunge, neckline, fit flare, knit, modern, chic is the title. It sold for $38 and it took, it took about a month and a half. No, it took a month and a week to sell. So, I mean, it was a great sale for me. 38 however you know looking at comps and everything comps were pretty high and so I priced this pretty high and I ended up putting it in a bulk offer I think what I did yeah I put it in a bulk offer and I do I did some really aggressive bulk offers like 30%. Sometimes I'll do 40%. So that's aggressive for me because I usually just do 20%. Um, anyway, so this one, we kind of went back and forth on for a while. She offered me something. Uh, and I, it was pretty low. And then I offered her something. She, she didn't come back for a while. Um, anyways, and then I just noticed that the, the um, offers that I was giving her were very low too. So then I was realizing, okay, I can't like be thinking I can give, stay up there at, at what I had the, the original price at. So, you know, I kind of came down lower and she came up so you know we agreed upon a price which is great so $38 is a good sale for me um Carla thank you so much for your purse purchase and uh Carla's out of Brooklyn New York so this is where this is going to go to so hopefully she loves it and um anyways that is it for this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did um please like and subscribe and um leave me some comments I'd love to hear from you okay until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.